Hi everyone and welcome to In Wine and Design. My name is Kimberly and I am your instructor for today. So starting off with what we have in front of us, we have our 11 by 14 size canvas over here, long ways. Uh, we are gonna be using, I'm using a canvas board, but you guys might have canvas paper or maybe you have some, um, maybe you have a, a canvas that's on wood if you have a canvas that's on wood, you guys can go ahead and actually um, paint around the edges while we're painting this in. So you can go in there and paint the sides. If we paint it a certain color, go to the sides. That way it looks like your frame is painted at the end of the class. And you don't have to worry about adding a frame to that uh, canvas that we have here in front. All right, so next and on our left, we have a fan. So if you have a piece of cardboard or a fan, we are gonna be painting this in layers. You can also use a hair dryer, which is what I'm gonna use. Um, and what we're using this for is to dry our layers a little bit faster, okay? So we are gonna be painting in layers, but in order to move on from our first layer to our second layer, we have to wear, wait for our first layer to dry, right? So that's what we're gonna be doing there. Next, we have our uh, paper towel or our uh, towel that we use to dry our brushes with. We need a container of water um, to our left. Then we have our brushes. We have our large background brush, our medium square brush, our round tip brush that comes to a point, our detail brush. That's a, a liner brush as well, very fine. And we have a pencil, okay? So we are gonna be doing a little bit of outlining. You are gonna be using your pencil, so make sure you have that. You're gonna be showing off your drawing skills, okay? Next, we are gonna have these colors. We're gonna be using a lot of blue today. We're also going to have red, yellow, white, and black as our colors today. So if you notice, this paint is very sticky. You wanna make sure that you add a good enough water, a good amount of water on there to get it nice and mixed, nice and soft. We don't want it to be sticky. If we put sticky paint on our canvas, it's gonna get stuck. You're gonna waste a lot of paint and you're gonna get really mad at the paint, right? So what we want is we want it to be smooth. We also don't want it to be watery. If it's watery, it's gonna be see-through and the color isn't gonna be strong and beautiful and bold. It's gonna be watery and runny. So we wanna make sure that we don't add that much water either. We want it to be right in the middle where the paint is nice and soft and creamy and you want your paint to last you a good amount of time, okay? So that's why we're also adding water to that. So we're gonna be starting off with our pencil. Now that I already talked about the consistency of our water, of our, of our paint coming in with our pencil and we're gonna be drawing in an ostrich head. And Super we are gonna start off first with the big head. Okay, so the head right in the middle, we're gonna have an arch going across. From here, we are going to dip in a little bit. See that? We're going to go in. And you want to make sure that these are even, okay? These lines, you want to make sure that they're even. There. If you're making this one a certain size, you want to make the other one the same size. And it's okay. We're going to go in there and fix it. That's not going to be a big deal. Next, we're going to go down and we're going to do the bottom side of the head. And it's a little bit rounder. So here we go. We have our ostrich head right here. From here, we're going to come down and we are going to do a neck. 
not right next to that dip. We're going to go down a little bit towards the right. And from that side, we're going to make our neck. Same thing towards our right. We're going to come in and bring it down. So we're bringing it down and we have our neck. So from here, right in our angle, we're going to do the mouth like this, how I have my pencil, okay? So we are going to come in, we're going to make a line, a little point, a little dip, we're going to come back, make a line. So this is what we're doing there. And this is our beak. We're going to go again and do a line underneath exactly the same like the top one to parallel. Okay. And we're going to put it around. There you go. So that's his bottom part of his beak. And we are going to work on his top part now. So on our top part of our beak, we're coming in, same thing, following the line. And right in the middle where the curve is, we're going to curve the opposite direction towards the top now. This curve goes down, so this curve goes up. It's the top of the beak. See that? This is what the mouth looks like closer. So right above this, we're going to go up on the side of the beak. And we're, then we're going to curve it all around one more time. You know what? I'm going to make these just a little bit bigger going in. This is where our eyes are going to be. So I'm going to make this just a little bit bigger. You can even do that too. Let's make these entrances of the eyes just a little bit bigger. See, so that the eyes are bigger when we put them in there. See, art is fun. There's no such thing as messing up. You can always change something. A lot of times when you're just using your imagination, you need to change things like, oh man, but I really like this, but you know what, I'm imagining this now. You know, don't be hard on yourself. You always have to change it. And if you change it, there's nothing wrong with that. If you like the other idea, write it down and save it for later because maybe you can use it on another painting. You never know. All right, so we're coming down, right? And here's our face already. You can kind of start to see already the face of the ostrich, right? Super cute. All right, so next, like I mentioned before, we're going to be working on our water. Remember, your water can't be um, too thick. We want it to be nice and thin so that you guys don't waste too much water and so it doesn't get stuck on your canvas. So we're coming in with our large background brush first. Okay, picking up a little bit of this water. And the first color that we're gonna begin with is going to be a blue. So we're using our large background brush, picking up a little bit of water, and I'm going to be adding a little bit of water on the side of my blue here. Okay, and this painting is really cool because it goes from a light blue to a darker blue as we go down. So we're going to be adding this blue all around our ostrich, okay? We're going to try to not paint it on the inside. Let's start off with that blue. We're adding a little bit of water in there, trying to get it nice and soft. Remember, not watery like a, like a lake. We want it to be creamy, like when you put sour cream on chips. We're picking up a little bit of that white and we're starting to mix it into our blue. See how we're starting to get a lighter blue there? Okay, and we are going to come in with this light blue and we're going to start painting the top from a light blue. Let's start pulling that paint down. From this light blue, as we go down, we're going to pick up a little bit of darker blue. See that? 
how it's getting darker now until you go all the way to the bottom. When you go all the way to the bottom, you're gonna add a little bit of black to your blue and you're gonna make it just a little bit darker. You see that? You see how it's light and then it gets dark underneath? So it was blue with white, blue, and blue with a little bit of black. See, and then you go from the bottom and you pull it up. So again, we're gonna start off with that lighter blue on top and let's work on painting that first. Blue with white. Remember, go around your ostrich, try not to paint it in. So let's come in with that light color. As we go a little bit lower, we're gonna use a little bit of a darker blue. We're not adding white to it this time. Okay, and again, you're trying to go around the ostrich head, remember that? And we're gonna to continue to paint this background blue. We're gonna to continue to do that all the way across. All right, guys, so we're gonna continue with this. I'm not adding, if you can tell, it's already a little bit light blue, it's getting a little bit darker. And as I'm working my way down, it's getting even darker. So that's what we're working on. I added my light blue, a little bit of plain blue. And now that I'm in the bottom, I'm pulling in a little bit of black with my blue. And I'm starting to pull that forward. Again, like I mentioned earlier, if you guys have a canvas that has a wood frame around it, go ahead and paint it in uh, on the side. So if you have wood underneath, paint the sides so that your whole painting looks finished when you're done. 
So pick it up, paint the bottom, paint all around it. And that way, when you're done with it, you can just hang it up on the wall and it looks really good. You know, you don't have to go to, to the store to buy a frame for it or anything. So again, I, I am going a little bit darker towards the bottom. I do want it to be a darker blue. So if you guys want to work on that, it's a little bit of blue with a drop of black. And we're starting to put it in the bottom and we're pulling it up towards the top. Little by little, we're releasing the pressure so that we don't leave any lines behind. Again, you need to make sure that your paint is nice and soft also. See, we want it to fade nicely. We don't want it to be super thick, super obvious. Same thing on the opposite side, a little bit of that blue. With some black, we're coming in from the bottom. We're starting to pull it up towards the top. Okay, continuing to add a little bit more of that dark blue. Again, remember we did have some mid blue there in the middle as well. So if you wanna go in there with some of that middle blue again, kind of even it out. It's nice to kind of go back and forth. That way everything looks like it's actually blended together. Right on top, we're picking up a little bit more of that white and we're gonna add just a little bit more of that white highlight coming down. One last time, very lightly. So we're coming in with a little bit more of that light color. All right, so from here, we're going to finish this up and we are going to go and blow dry it. In order to move on to our next step, this painting has to be completely dry. We are going to be working on our ostrich after this. So you want to make sure that, again, your painting is nice and dry before you move on to the next step. All right, guys, so moving on, we are gonna be using our detail brush now. Okay, and zooming in, we have our ostrich face. We're picking up a little bit of that white. Using our detail brush, we're picking up a little bit of some water, I'm sorry, not some white. And we're gonna be picking up our block. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of water on our block. Let's make it nice and soft. Squeeze all that water out of your brush and mix it so that your paint is nice and creamy. Awesome. So then from here, we're gonna actually work on the eyes first, okay? Just so that they dry and we can kind of work around them. So we're gonna come in and around the top of this eye We're gonna add a little bit of black. In the bottom, we're gonna add some black too. We're gonna to start to form the eye now. Okay, we're forming the eye. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're coming in. In the bottom, same thing, we're going in. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna give our ostrich some eyelashes. So we're pulling our little brush out to the sides like that. See that? So pull and then don't push too hard. When you get to the end, lift your brush a little bit. Like you're lifting, lifting. Okay. So we're going to give our ostrich some eyelashes. We're going to do that on the top. And we're going to do that in the bottom a little bit. See that? Same thing over here. We're going to come in. We're going to do some eyelashes. But these eyelashes are going to start a little bit more towards the middle. So from here, we are going to bring them up. These, we might have to go over them at the end again. 
because we are going into the blue and we are going to be adding some blue in here. So we might need to go over these eyelashes at the end again. Okay, same thing down here. Some more eyelashes. And then next, we are closing in the eye on the side. Doing the same thing on the other side, coming in, and we're closing in the eye on the side. From there, you're gonna make another little line and you're gonna fill that triangle inside in. That shape, you see that? You fill that in with some black. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna make a line. Make sure you leave some space there. And we're gonna fill that in with some black also. Okay, so before we start painting our ostrich, we are going to add a little bit of a gray very quickly to our canvas before we begin. So I'm going to zoom out to show you guys what that looks like. I'm picking up my square brush, picking up some of this white. I'm adding water to it from my brush. Okay, so we're adding white. And we're adding just a little drop of gray, of black on there to make gray. Look at how light my gray is. It's not very dark, right? It's kind of light. So we're gonna make a very light gray. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over our ostrich one more time with that light gray, just to make a coat to outline our ostrich a little bit better. So if we paint it over it with some blue, we're gonna go over it just to make sure that our lines are straight on the side of our ostrich. So I'm coming in with a little bit of that gray and we're painting in the ostrich. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Again, we're doing that to the neck. So there we go, we got a little bit of that gray. Let's work on making our chin a little bit bigger on our ostrich now that we have this gray that we're painting with. Let's come in with a little bit of that white and gray and let's make our chin a little bit bigger on our ostrich here. Let's make it a little bit longer. See that? A little bit more oval right there at the bottom. Okay, I'm going around the beak. I'm not painting in the beak. Okay, I'm not painting the eye. I'm going around the eye a little bit. And I'm outlining the top of the head again because I actually painted into it. So I'm starting to straighten that out. But you know what? I'm noticing that this head actually a little weird because this head is supposed to go up on the side a little bit and then go across right where the eye is. So we're going to do the same thing on top. It's a little bit squarish. It's a little blockish. See? So it's a little square on top here. And then we're coming down. So two things we had to change on this head. One was make the chin a little bit longer. See, we're just making it a little bit longer with the gray. This is what we call a base coat, okay? And it basically, we touch all our bases with it so that we don't have to worry about missing something later. So that was one thing we had to worry about, right? It was, the fact that we had to make the face a little bit longer. 
and it was the fact that the top of the head is a little bit more square. So from here, we've already filled in our, our little ostrich head. Again, you can make it a little bit darker if you want. It doesn't have to be. Right here in the top, we are going to have a little bit of a bump, just so you know. Right on top of the head, we're going to be using that for the hair to go up on the sides there. Also, the ostrich has chubbier cheeks on the side. So let's make its cheeks just a little bit chubbier. And there you go. So now it's time to start filling in our ostrich. Yay. Okay, before we do that, let's go ahead and blow dry this so that we can work on that. We are now gonna be using our round tip brush. Okay, so we're using our round tip brush now. Picking up a little bit of this water and we are going to be using some white and some uh, very light gray. So let's pick up a little bit of this water, add it to our light gray, and let's pick up a little bit of white. And what we're going to be doing with this uh, round tip brush is that we're just going to be creating these lines, okay? So let's start off first on top of the head. So from the top of the head, we're going to start off first on the eyebrows. We're going to make these lines and we're going to follow these lines all the way down to the bottom, but we're starting on top first, okay? Okay, and we're making these lines towards the right a little bit. We don't want to make him look too messy or he's just going to look like a super fluffy um, ostrich, right? So we're going to want to have it a little bit more organized. We don't want his hair to be super wild. So we're going to add some lines here towards the left now. Again, we're working on the top level first. And then we're going to go right here towards the middle. We're going to go all the way around like a clock. Okay, so that's our first level. Okay, we're gonna have some of that white. Okay, from here, we're gonna go below and we're gonna add our second level. See that? We're adding all these levels. We're starting from the top and we're adding these lines. They're all coming in from the middle going to the sides. And we're using that round tip brush. Again, don't push too hard. You wanna push a little bit light and then release your pressure up on top. So we're gonna come right here, right all around our beak. From our beak, we're gonna start to curve our lines down. So we're starting to bring our lines down the side of the cheek. And now we're starting to kind of scrape the lines on the sides of the cheek coming down. See that? We're going to the sides now. We're coming out the sides of the cheek. And we're going to start at the bottom and then work our way up from the chin up towards the top of the beak. Just like we did with here that we started from the top and then we went down. That's what we're going to do here. We're going to start from the bottom. See that? We're starting to do all those little feathers. And we're going to go a little bit more in towards the inside. Let's go a little bit higher in and I'm going all the way around and I'm curving it in towards the bottom, towards the middle. Some of these curve the other way. Some curve in. It's kind of going everywhere, sort of. There we go. Some this way, some that way. Coming in, and they all go to the bottom of the beak. You see that? Coming back in towards the left. Our hairs are starting to go towards the left. And the reason we're doing this effect 
in levels is so that it looks like we're layering. When everything dries, it looks as if we have those hairs piled on top of each other. Okay, as we work our way down, we're gonna start from the bottom of the neck. We're gonna start to make these lines. Okay, and this is also gonna be kind of a base undercoat. And we're starting to scrape some of this in there. We're still gonna add other colors and other coats in there. From here, after you're done using your white, we're gonna do the same thing, except that this time, we're gonna be adding a little bit of blue into that white. So now we're gonna be doing feathers in baby blue. Okay, so again, you don't wanna to add too much water on your paint brush. You want your brush to be a little bit dry just so that the hairs can separate. And we're gonna go in there and we're gonna do the same thing. We're starting from the back and we're gonna to start to add a little bit of those blue hairs. Okay, notice that you can see all these lines on mine, okay? You see how you can see some lines? Because I'm not pressing very hard when I'm doing my lines. See that, what it looks like up close? See how you can see all these little feathers? It, I don't have a lot of paint on my brush. I'm just letting the little hairs scratch and make all that effect. Okay, so I'm doing just this very quickly before I have to go back in there and add a little bit more. You can also go in there with some of that white. You wanna add some white in there too. See, so now we're going back and forth with the colors. Not only are we just using the blue, but we're also picking up just a little bit of white with it. And see how we're starting to get all these different feathers coming out on our ostrich? Because we got a little bit of that baby blue and that white on our feathers. A little bit more of that dark blue maybe. See what that looks like. Ooh, look what happens when you add a little bit of dark blue in there. Next, if you wanna add maybe some thinner feathers, you can come in with your detail brush. And with your detail brush, you can go in there and just add smaller feathers, a lot smaller, just to make them kind of stand out. You see that? How when you're done with that thicker feather, you come back in here with your lighter feathers. The reason I'm telling you this is because that's the next step. So if you happen to go a little bit ahead of us, you can go ahead and start doing that. For everybody else who's still catching up, um, we are going to be uh, using this round tip brush to continue to brush some of that baby blue. Remember it was some blue with some white. And then we pick that up on top of some more white, okay? And that's how we were making these lines that you see down here. Okay, remember that. So that's what we're gonna be working on right now. Adding that fur all the way down our ostrich's face. Same thing. On the top, we start with our first layer and we work down. On the side of the face, we start with our first layer in the bottom and we work our way up. So we're gonna go in, we're picking up some of that white, we're mixing it into that little hair there. We're starting to add some of that texture, add some of that, those feathers. And we're gonna continue to do this all the way around. Again, remember, we're gonna reach the beak. And then we start to go down, remember our, our little feathers on the side of the head. Go to the right if you're on the right-hand side. Go to the left if you're on the left-hand side.
we are going to be starting with our detail brush. That's our next move. We're still going to be doing some fur. That is the hard hardest part, by the way, is doing the fur because it takes us so long to do it because he's so fluffy, right? So we're going to come in with our detail brush. We're going to be picking up this blue and we're just going to be adding with our little brush some dark blue lines. See that? And you're going to be picking up some white to add some white lines. Okay, so those are going to be the two colors we're going to be using next, just like we've been using that. We're going to go in and use it again, but this time we're using smaller brushes and we're trying to go a little bit faster so that um, we can see all the little fur in here. We want to make sure we see everything. Okay, we want to see we see all those little feathers. So let's go in there. And the next color we're going to use again is going to be that blue and some white just to make it look a little bit more detailed. Look at the difference. Okay, can you see that? On the right is where I have the really fine line and on the left is where it's super thick and fluffy. Okay, so there's a lot of really pretty uh, varieties you can make by using just a different size brush.
Next, you're going to want to go in and add more black to those eyelashes to straighten them up again. All right, guys, so moving on, we're first going to start off with our eye. We're going to be using our round tip brush. We're going to be picking up a little bit of this blue and moving it into the corner of our yellow. The color that I want you guys to get is a green. So how dark you want it is up to you. Um, if you want it darker, add more blue. If you want it lighter, add more yellow. And we are going to come in and on the edges of these eyes, we're just going to go in and apply this highlight on there. You could even just apply the yellow right on top just to make it stand out a little bit brighter. You see that? Same thing on the opposite side. We're gonna fill in the other eye again with that dark green. We're coming in with that dark green below. And right above, again, I'm scraping in a little bit of that yellow just to make it a little bit lighter. From here, same round tip brush. We're gonna wash it off, come in, pick up a little bit of white, and we are going to dab it. There we go. We have our little ostrich eye. If you wanna go in and add just a little bit of light gray. Okay, so if you mix a little bit of black with white, we're gonna get a gray. And we're just gonna go over some of these eyelashes a little bit with that gray, just to make the eyelashes stand out a little bit. You see that? See how the eyelashes are starting to stand out? And we're actually painting in the eyelid a little bit. Same thing on the left, a little bit of black with white. We're gonna to start to paint in these eyelashes. And we're also gonna add a little bit of a highlight on the bottom of the eye, and maybe on the side, just to play with it. If we don't like it, we can always go over it. picking up our round tip brush. And we are going to be picking up a little bit of this red, okay? To this red, we're gonna mix it in with just a little bit of our yellow. Okay, so mostly red. Okay, so we're gonna have more red. It's gonna be a dark orange and just a little bit of yellow. And I'm gonna show you why right now. We're gonna start off with the top part of our beak so we're coming in, we're pressing to make it nice and thick. Whenever you push hard on your brush, your brush makes thick lines. Whenever you press very light, your brush makes thin lines. And that's what art is all about, just using pressure and color. Well, not art, but you know, specifically painting. Then we're gonna come in and with a little bit of yellow, we're gonna mix your yellow, just like we did on the eye, right on top of that beak, you see that? and we're mixing it right in the middle. So that way it looks like we have that red outline on the outside. See that? Okay, so now starting with the bottom part, we're coming in with that same dark orange and we're gonna fill in this top lip with that dark orange. So come in, fill it in. Okay. Right in the middle, you're going to pick up a little bit of yellow and you're going to add it right in the center so that it looks like it's nice and bright right there. So there's some yellow and we're gonna pull it into the corner of the beak just a little bit. See, and now it looks like we have that area outlined. 
You can even grab just a little bit of white and put that right in the center. And when you blend it, it'll get even lighter. So now we have a highlighted section in the middle of our nose here. You see that, how we're starting to get outlines there? Next, again, we're working on the bottom lip. The bottom lip starts with that dark red, remember, that dark orange. Okay, come back a little bit of that yellow and red. Again, you can come in with a little bit of that yellow right in the center. So let's go ahead and blow dry this mouth so that we can go in and outline it and we can move on. Okay, so when we're done with the beak, we're going to come in with a little bit of to dry it up so that we can move on. All right, so I'm gonna put you guys on mute and then we're gonna go ahead and blow dry this again so we can move All on. All right guys, from here we're picking up our detail brush. Okay, so our little fine one, the same one we've been using. Picking up a little bit of water and mixing it with our black. We're gonna be using our black next to make our outlines on the sides of our beak. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be working on, the outlines for the sides of our beak. So I'm coming in with my brush and I'm trying to keep my line straight. If you can't, it's okay. And I'm just coming in and outlining the whole thing. Coming up, I'm outlining this top section. I'm outlining the arch on top. We're making the bottom section also, closing the mouth in. So you come in with just a little bit more and right in the middle, we're gonna divide this beak. And right here at the bottom, we do a little bit of a curve towards the inside. See, kind of like a little drop. Awesome. Next, the one thing we can't forget are the nostrils. We have a little bit of the nostrils right here on the side. Same thing over here. We have a little bit of a nostril showing. Again, if you want to make those stand out, you could add a little bit of white to it. So this is what your ostrich should look like right now. Look at that. How adorable. I love it. So cute. Okay, so we're going to pick up our detail brush. And the final thing we have left to do is to pick up some of this white. You can even add a little bit of blue to it. Let's do a baby blue, very light baby blue. You're going to pick up some of that white and baby blue. And right here on the right hand corner, you're just going to come in and do your signature. And after this, you are done. Thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to check out more videos on our website.